So, Jack, you mentioned C3, and there have been a lot of discussions about C3. Do you think that's the end metric, or do you think that it needs to evolve? Uh, I think it will evolve. I don't think C3 is the be it all and end all, and as, as, as the marketplace requires or desires more specific accountability for, for measurement, we may go to exact minute ratings. Um, you know, we are prepared either way. You know, the, the business is driven by the desires of advertisers and agencies as well as our need to maximize the, 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 the value of the content which we provide. Um, if you want to be able to track an ad across all of these platforms, to track a specific ad across all of those platforms, and that becomes a priority for a very large number of advertisers, you may have to adjust the TV currency to fit everything else. So you may need to know the reach and frequency of an ad on TV and C3 broadband and VOD and DVR, etc. And you're not going to, and if that ad, let's say you have a Coca-Cola ad, and you put it on the closer, and then you put it on um, uh, the closer and on, on broadband, but then it's also in some clips of old episodes of the closer or pieces of the closer. And you as an advertiser want to know about that same ad across all of those different platforms. I think sooner or later, a metric that allows advertisers to do that will come into play because it will allow them to know what their message's reach and frequency is. It goes back to the same fundamental metrics. How many saw the ad? How often did they see the ad? And in, in this case, how long is not really the issue. How, well, how many gross impressions did they get? What was the reach? What was the frequency? They can't calculate that based on gross measures. They should be able to calculate that, and they may need to measure that and calculate that across platforms. That may drive us all to more granularity. You mentioned minute. That's the one thing that struck me about your last um, um, discussion. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a specific ad and that ad happens to be 15 seconds, mm -hmm. we really need to go more to more, more granular than a minute. If the system can handle it. You're looking at set-top box data. We look at set-top box, set box data. We just had the Super Bowl. Okay? You go to a Super Bowl party. In one room, you have a great big screen TV that's attached to a, a DVR box. In another room, you have an older television set that's connected in a different way. If you're sitting in the room with the big screen TV and watching it on HD, you're going to hear the cheering for a touchdown in that other room eight to ten seconds before you see it. So you turn around, you go, what the heck is going on in that other room? Then you see the touchdown. You're ten seconds off. Well, that 10 seconds means you've got to be able to account for that 10 seconds. Otherwise, you're going to give credit for viewing to the wrong commercials. So, I think that we have to accept the fact that the granularity of these systems is going to have to be much stronger than what's promised and what's delivered. And the other thing is we're going to have to do agree on whether you, your, your delivery is based on the people who saw the beginning of your ad or if the delivery is based on the people who stay to watch the whole ad. Because I don't know that it's my fault if people watch your ad and then they bail out. True.